that's my food situation and my water situation. Um, hygiene is also an issue when you're out on the trail. Uh, we do have to go to the bathroom at regular periods during the day. So I have two things for that. I have, this is my hygiene kit. I have a trowel for digging holes if I have to uh, do the darker duty while out on the trail. Uh, if you're going to do that, you need to dig a hole that is about six inches across and four to six inches down. A lot of people say just use a stick. You try digging through the rocks in Pennsylvania with a stick or your trekking pole, that's not going to happen. So I just got this titanium shovel. Uh, I got this off of Etsy as well. Oh no, I got this off of Amazon. So go Google. Uh, backpack your trowel on Amazon and you should be able to find this titanium uh, shovel. It also has TP in it, hand sanitizer, and wet wipes. So whatever I want for uh, hygiene after the fact, I have that all covered. Um, if I'm not doing a darker duty, I just need to do number one. I got this real cool device. This is called a Kula cloth. Uh, this just snaps to the outside of your pack. Um, it has two snaps and a double-sided snap here. It is waterproof fabric on one side and antimicrobial fabric on the other side. So what you do is you go do your business behind a tree and you use this to wipe off. I mean, obviously you're only using this for wet stuff. Um, and then you can either just clip it to your bag like this to dry out, or if you're worried about it rubbing and leaving deposits, you can fold it up. You snap it to your, pout, your pack, fold it up, and snap it shut, and then attach it to your pack like that. So then you've got the waterproof surface against your pack. When you get to camp at the end of the day, you rinse it out away from your water source, at 200 feet away from your water source, um, and then just hang it up to dry and it's good to go the next day. So I highly recommend these. Again, they're about, this was about $20. This is, I got it from coolacloth.com. They have all kinds of cool patterns. They're always changing, um, different sizes. So whatever you need, check it out. Um, highly recommend it. I carry a first aid kit. I didn't have the brain capacity for developing my own. You absolutely can put your own first aid kit together. Uh, I know a lot of hikers just take a couple of band-aids, some ibuprofen. I wanted to have a little bit more than that. Um, the first rule of thumb is only carry what you know how to use. Um, I have had first aid training a couple of times, so I do know how to use a lot of stuff. Um, uh, but Again, I didn't want to waste take the time to put this together. So this is just uh, the Adventure Medical Kits uh, 0.5 Waterproof Ultralight Pack. Uh, I love this pack. It comes with everything. Well, not everything I need because I have added a couple of things. But it comes with all your Band-Aids. Uh, it comes with a number of... Uh, you know, ibuprofen, uh, allergy medicine, band-aids, uh, antiseptic wipes, ointments, all of that stuff. It's pre-packed, so I will reload it as I use stuff, but it's done every, all the work for me, so I don't have to worry about that. The things I have added, oof, I added an extra tube of Tylenol. I can't take ibuprofen because of a procedure I had done, so if I'm dealing with pain, it's going to be Tylenol or nothing, so I carry extra. And I use the tube to wrap some Luco tape around. This is a medical tape that's really good for uh, dealing with blisters. You can cut off small pieces and cover your blisters to protect them. Um, I know some people use it as reinforcement for joints as well. That's probably more than I'm ever going to need. I'd be more likely to carry a knee brace in a situation like that. So I've added that to my first aid kit. I have added a tick key. So this is 
for removing ticks that I find them. Uh, I know from experience that Lyme disease is a terrible, terrible disease. I don't ever want to have to deal with it. I am going to treat all my hiking clothes with permethrin before I go out, um, but this is just a uh, backup. So if I do find any ticks on me, it'll be really easy to remove them whole and quickly. Uh, what else have I got in here? I threw in some extra water purification tabs. I'm not crazy about these because they take four hours to work. Um, if I find that I'm in a water emergency situation where I need something like this, four hours is gonna be a long time to wait. So these are definitely emergency emergency, or maybe for helping somebody else out on the trail who is in a bad situation. Um, I may yet invest in drops. I did get some drops from one of my subscription kits. Um, I may throw that in my bag instead. Uh, I have, I did stick in here some, just a couple out of a kit of flossing sticks. You never know what you're going to get stuck in your teeth. I just want to have it just in case. Um, and I've stuck a little tiny repair kit in here. So this has, this is tenacious tape. This is a transparent repair tape. Um, it works a lot like duct tape, but it's more, it's stronger and it's more adaptable to camping gear. Um, it's a little more flexible. So I, I wanted to have some of that. I have two tiny tubes of uh, super glue, mostly for repair, but God forbid, I or somebody I'm traveling with gets a really bad cut that we can't stop the bleeding on quick enough to get down off the mountain, I'm going to want to seal it shut until we can get to a hospital and get that taken care of. So these are super emergency uh, backups. I also have a tiny little tube here. This has an extra pair of tweezers if I need them for doing uh, tick removal or splinters or anything like that. I also have in here, and I don't know if you can see it, I have two needles, one threaded with white thread and one threaded with black thread. It's heavy duty quilting thread, so it's stronger than just regular cotton thread. Um, I know a lot of hikers will use dental floss if they need to do repairs on the trail. I, I ain't using dental floss to do repairs. Quilting thread is gonna do the job, whether it's sewing up a hole in my hammock or tarp or sewing up a cut on somebody's leg. This is gonna work a lot better. So I like having this along. Uh, anything else extra in here? Nope, everything that came with the kit is in there. And so those are my extras in my first aid kit. Uh, the other emergency thing I have is I have a spot detector. Um, I have to set up my membership for this, and that's my goal for this week, is to get that set up. What this is, is it's a personal locator beacon, a PLB. And there are a lot of fancier ones uh, on the market, and I want one of the fancier ones, but again, I'm just starting out. I want to make sure that I'm going to keep doing this before I spend four to five hundred dollars on a fancier one. I got this for 30 bucks off of eBay used, um, so it's going to do everything I need. So basically what it does is once I get it set up, when I go out on a trail, I'll start it up and then it will track my steps every like 10 minutes. Um, and people that I share the link to will be able to watch where I'm going and where I'm at. At the end of the day, I can push this button to send a message to my family saying, I made it to my campsite, I'm safe, everything's good. So they know that I'm okay and I have a way to communicate if I get in trouble, if I'm in a place that doesn't have cell signal. This does have a big SOS button so if I get in a bad situation, I fall off a cliff or something, uh, I can push this SOS button and that's going to call uh, local rescue services and they're going to be able to track me down and find me if I get in a bad situation. So again, this just makes sense. If I'm going out on the trail on my own, I want to have backup. I also don't want my family worrying about me. I know my mother especially is very concerned about me being out on the trail by myself. So this is to put everybody's minds at, at ease 
and be responsible on the trail. Uh, my electronics. So obviously, if you're watching this video, you know that I do videos. So I need some electronics to back that up. I do all my recording on my cell phone and I have just a couple of items that I take along with me to help me out. Uh, you may have seen this thing on my backpack strap as uh, in some of my videos. This is a clamp that goes on my strap and I can set my cell phone in here. Uh, I'd have to look up uh, I got this off of eBay, uh, off of Amazon. Uh, I would have to look up the vendor for you. If anybody's interested, ask me in the comments. I'll look it up for you. Uh, I have a very mixed relationship with this because it's very hard to get it set right to be able to record interesting video. Sometimes it's just showing sky. Sometimes it's just showing trail. It's trying to get it in that mid-range when you can't look at the viewfinder. It's kind of tricky. So I'm still in the negotiating stage with this but i haven't been able to find anything better for attaching a cell phone to my strap if i get 150 viewer uh subscribers i'm getting a gopro so there you go motivation for to subscribe the other thing i carry in my electronics kit i have a 5000 uh amp uh battery charger that i keep charged at all times good it's still at four um, this is going to charge my phone multiple times. I've, I know from experience, I've charged my phone four or five times just from this pack. So this is going to do everything I need. And I have this multi-cord. It has four different adapters. I have to use a micro USB and the new USB-C. So I have those adapters on here. If I run into anybody on the trail who needs help charging an iPhone, I also have the iPhone adapter. So it's a little bulky, but it gives me a lot of flexibility to be able to keep everything charged. I also keep an extra lighter in here because fire, and this one's not working either. What the heck? I don't know what's going on with my lighter, so I'm going to get new, invest in new lighters. All right. Um, and the other thing I carry, I carry fanny pack. Um, initially, I'd gotten this because my previous backpacks, I couldn't reach the side pockets. Um, I'm a big girl. The belts aren't designed for plus size people. So the, the side pockets ended up being way back here where I couldn't manage the zipper. I couldn't get in and out of them. Uh, it was wasted space. So I got the fanny pack to keep my snacks in, to keep my knife in, all of that. But now that with the new pack, I actually can reach into those side pockets. So I'm using this for my electronics. So in here, I have my portable tripod and the holder for it. Uh, I can keep my stick pick in here. At the moment, I have it attached to my trekking poles. I have a Velcro strap, stretchable Velcro strap in here, so I can put the phone on here and attach this to a tree to get some of those neat distance shots that you might have seen. Um, all that goes in here. I keep a lens cloth in here now. Those of you who may have noticed a lot of lens flare in previous videos, yeah, that wasn't really intentional. I just keep getting my finger all over the lens, so now I can keep that clean. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, well, that's my keys at the moment. Oh, I have a remote uh, trigger if I want to do distance pictures of myself. Uh, the range isn't great on that. I've got to find something better. Uh, probably, or figure out how to use the timer. So this gives me a lot of flexibility as far as that. I keep my car keys in here. Um, I think when I go out for my overnight, I'll just, instead of taking my whole wallet, I'll take my driver's license, my medical card, and maybe a credit card, and just tuck that in the back pocket of this. So it's all in one small space. I am missing one important thing. Um, so now the bits and bobs. Uh, one thing I'm carrying with me, again, thanks mom, is a saw. When I'm camping, I want a fire. I know a lot of backpackers don't do fire, but to me, part of the camping experience is sitting around a fire at night. I could just go around and collect what dro dropped wood there is, depending on the trail. There may not be a lot available. So um, I do have 
this very nice locking saw. Uh, it cuts in both directions, so uh, it uses less energy and it locks in place, so I'm not going to do what I almost just did and cut my fingers off with it. So it's, it weighs, I think it's about six ounces. Again, it's a worthwhile carry for me. I want to have fire. I want to know I'm going to be able to get firewood. If I'm going down the trail and there's a lot of blowdowns, I can help out the trail maintenance people by cutting branches off. Um, so this gives, gives me some flexibility on that. Um, in my side pouches, on the one side, I carry some extra little Ziploc bags. Um, I never know when I might need this. I might need it for trash. If I have to go to the restroom while I'm out on the trail, I can put the paper in here if I don't want to bury it. Um, I like to collect wintergreen for tea while I'm out on the trail. This is great for putting those in, so I keep these handy. I have my Swiss Army knife. Yes, this is heavy. Uh, yes, I probably only need the little tiny one, uh, but this has a lot of sentimental value. My dad gave this to me when I was a Girl Scout. Uh, I've had this for 20 some years, no, 30 some years. Um, and it's a reminder of my dad. So this comes with me. I have a headlamp. I do not know the origin of this headlamp, except that it came in one of my subscription boxes. So I didn't have to, well, I want to, I was going to say, I didn't have to pay anything for it. I paid for the subscription. So, um, but I like this. It does have the multiple light settings. I have white lights. I have red light. So if I want to go out stargazing and don't want to screw up my vision, I've got that. Um, it's got a stretchy band and it's uh, rechargeable. So I don't have to worry about carrying batteries. Uh, the only thing I have that I do have to carry batteries for is my spot device. For the amount of time that I go out, I'm probably not going to carry batteries and I'll just change my batteries up regularly um, when I get home. Um, the other thing I have is I have this little moonlight. It's just a cool little round ball and I can pivot it or whatever. So this will be good for hanging up in my hammock at night if I need a little light. Um, if I'm going to go get water and I want to be able to find my way back to camp, I can hang this up and be able to find my way back to the light. So um, I'm afraid of the dark. So I'm carrying a little extra light. In fact, one thing that I don't have in this kit that I need to add is I have a string of Christmas lights that I hang up in my tent and I'm going to carry those. Those will also need batteries um, just to put along my ridge line, just so I have a little extra light for comfort. Um, I carry in my side pockets. These are snacks left over from my last hike. Deb introduced us to Sour Patch Kids. I generally don't like Sour Patch Kids, but when I'm on the trail, yeah, for some reason, this is what I want. A couple of protein bars. I got some energy chews in one of my subscription bags, so I throw those in. I am working on my hydration. So I've started carrying a couple of different kinds of electrolytes. I've got these noon hydration drops. Um, they're not bad. The problem is they're too big to go in the neck of the uh, smart water bottles. So I have to cut them in half. But um, in a pinch, these work great. I prefer these Mio squirt bottles. Uh, they're easier to get into the bottle. I like the taste of them better. Uh, but I do have to keep it in a Ziploc bag. I, I've never had one leak on me, but I don't want one accidentally leaking all over me. And then this is my bits and bobs of extra stuff. And mostly the bits and bobs are fire. I, like I said, I like to have a campfire. I'm afraid of the dark. So I'm gone over, a little overboard with fire, but apparently it's a good thing because if I was out on the trail and both those lighters died, I have an entire bottle of uh, emergency matches. So I've got that back up. I have, a couple of fire starters that I got again in my subscription box. I love my subscription box. I'll do a review of nomadic subscription boxes sometime. Um, so I have that in there. I have a couple of extra uh, bottle tops 
for my uh, water bottles, a plain one and a sports top. Uh, what's this? Oh, this is another cool thing that I got in one of my subscription boxes. It's a little light diffusing bag. I can put my headlamp in here and basically have a lantern. So plenty of light options. I also have in here a tube of sunscreen and a tube of Blistex. Just, I, I'm not a big sunscreen user. I know it's terrible, but I also don't go bare in a lot of places. So I have this here for if I need it for a really bright sunny day, something like that. Uh, what else am I missing? Oh, I wanted to show you. This is my water bottle holder. Uh, I got this again on Etsy from Arroyo Seco Ultralight. They're a great company. This is uh, custom made. Uh, they, uh, it's it's a lightweight mesh pouch with an elastic strap and a Velcro strap. And this goes, it can either go around your strap or if your straps are too wide, you can put it through a loop. Or they also suggested putting a um, zip tie around your strap and looping this through that. Um, I've had really good luck with this. I'm, with the new pack, I'm working on positioning for it. Um, but I really like having this. So um, Arroyo Seco is a good company. I recommend them. Um, I am not getting sponsorship from any of these companies. These just telling you what I use. Uh, this weird little bit of plastic has uh, improved my hydration a lot. It's straw. And I just, on my bottles that have the sports tip, this just slides right down in there. And I can just, it's real easy while it's hanging here. Half the time it's poking me in the face, so I just, and it, so I'm much better at staying hydrated um, when I have the straw in, so. All right, I think that is ev almost everything. Um, these you've seen lots. These are my trekker poles. They're just, they're trail buddy trekker poles. I got them on uh, Amazon. They're not carbon fiber. They're not anything fancy. They were $35. Uh, I absolutely recommend getting a pair of trekking poles if you're going, even if you're just hiking, not backpacking. But for me, I need them for backpacking. They help me balance my load. Um, I notice when I'm not using them, especially with the 25 pound pack, I'm tipping over backwards more. This is shifting my center of gravity, um, makes it a lot easier for me to carry that, that 25 pound bag. Um, I also, on the end of this, you can see that's my stick pick. And what that is, is that's a nifty little device. I can screw my cell phone holder onto this and then use this like a selfie stick. And again, you've probably seen some of the shots that I've done doing that. Uh, I Some of the components are plastic and they broke on me. So I've replaced it with uh, just a regular wing nut. Um, and that seems to be working fine. I'm a little worried that it's gonna, with it being on the end of my trekker pole all the time, uh, that this is gonna come off. So I have an extra one in my electronic bag. Um, and I could just take this off, but I find taking this off and on and attaching, it's a lot of extra steps. So for now, I'm experimenting with just leaving it on the end here. Um, and I believe I got this from stickpick.com. But if you look up stick pick, uh, stick like a stick, pick like a picture, uh, you can find those. They're not terribly expensive. I think it was $15. Um, and it's a great tool for doing videography. The other thing I carry, this is probably my last uh, luxury item, is I'm taking my Teva sandals. I know at the end of a hike, my feet are tired, they hurt, they want to get out of those boots. Uh, I, these, this, this pair weighs almost a pound. I know a lot of hikers use Crocs. Guess what? Crocs weigh almost a pound too. I like these a lot better. 
Um, they'll be great for if I've got to do river crossings, not that I expect to. I'm not planning any trails that would have to do heavy uh, river crossings, but I don't always know what's on the trails I'm going to be going on. Um, so they're comfortable, they're adjustable, and they make me happy. So they're going on my in my pack with me. I knew I'd forget something. Uh, one other thing that I have tucked in a secret pocket, I, technically it's the hydration pocket of the, my backpack, um, I have a very small journal. It's not terribly heavy, so it's not going to be a big burden. Um, but I like to write when I, my brain gets busy. I need to put words down on paper. I don't do well doing that typing, so doing it on my phone just won't work for my mental process. So just a small notebook and a pen. Um, I'm going to throw a pencil in here as well so that if the pen dies, I can sharpen a pencil. Um, I also have my Nook in here. This is a very basic black and white uh, uh, Nook. No fancy bells or whistles, no internet connection, no none of that stuff. Um, it does have a backlight that I can turn on and off. Uh, so I, it's a low uh, battery user, as long as I remember to turn the light off if I'm reading during the day. So uh, this adds about a half pound to my weight. But again, I'm going out here to enjoy myself. Uh, reading is enjoyable for me. I don't get a lot of time to do it except when I'm out uh, in the woods and uh, Writing is also a comfort. So I am going to bring these with me. So that's everything um, We're two weeks out. It's at the time I'm recording this uh, is as of this coming Wednesday uh, The day after my Penn Forest video comes out. I'll start getting the first weather forecasts for that weekend I am going to be kind to myself and if the weather is looks like it's going to be really cold or wet I am not going that weekend I'll try and go the following weekend this is my first experience out on the trail overnight I want it to be a positive one so that I will keep doing this because I'm really enjoying this hobby so far um, and I want to keep going so thanks very much for coming along if you have any questions put them in the comments I'll be happy to answer them I love talking about this stuff uh, to the point where my friends and family are probably sick of hearing about it so let me talk to you about it. <laughs> uh, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.